Hello and welcome to Front Room Friday Live. I'm Mark Bailey and I'm delighted to be your host this evening. Now, Front Room Friday Live is an exciting new variety entertainment show which has been launched by six people who've never met. The 18 volunteers have all come together to bring you some amazingly talented entertainers, performers and artists. Our aim is simple, to raise the spirits of people in the UK during the COVID-19 crisis and raise money for two great causes, NHS Charities Together and Age UK. So, if you would like to make a donation, just click on the virtual tip jars button on the front room FridayNightLive.com website or on Facebook or YouTube. Plus, if you're feeling hungry, you can order some great local takeaway foods as recommended by our acts. Just click on the links to the website or social media pages and discover some fantastic food options right across the country. Coming up in tonight's show, top freestyling saxophonist, the saxman, Ben Barnett. Master of mystery, magician, Matthew Lamotte. Talented singer-songwriter, Alex Francis. And the one and only Georgia from Georgia and the Vintage Youth. Plus, don't miss our frontline NHS star of the show, Dr. Opera, Alex Aldrin. Our first act tonight on Front Room Friday Live is the sax man, Ben Barnett. Hi, Ben. Hello, Mark. Great to be here. A great honour to be opening the show for Friday Live. <laughs> Excited. We're going to have some fun. Now, you describe yourself as a freestyling saxophonist. What, what is that? Well, I guess uh, for the last 15 years of being the sax man, I have been freestyling over DJs uh, sets for all types of events around the world. And uh, yeah, my job is to, is to fill in the gaps with the sax uh, and be the sax man. Uh, yeah, and that, 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 is what, that is what I do. And you've played at some of the coolest and most exclusive venues on the planet out here. Yeah, rumour has it. I think, uh, you know, I've been very fortunate to travel the world, play alongside some of, uh, some of the best DJs out there and some of the coolest parties. And uh, yeah, it's really been a blast. The ones I can remember. <laughs> what are you going to be playing for us tonight on Front Room Friday Live? I don't actually know yet. I think I'm just going to go with the flow when it's time to go i'll cue some grooves and then off we go on a 10 minute journey i'll keep it nice and chilled i know that there's other acts to follow and uh yeah we'll just go with the flow and i hope you enjoy it top freestyling saxophonist the saxman ben barnett Watching you, watching me for the longest time, baby. You raise the bar for everyone. You tear apart my every thought. 
Watching you, watching me Longest time, baby Raise the bar for everyone Tear apart my every thought So close to yours, burning bridges, opening doors, an aphrodisiac you can't get pills for. Shaking and creating my curves, keep illustrating the world that makes you go crazy and that's for even more. Dip and ache, and I give you all that you've been craving, reading you and fulfilling your every wish. Needing real desires, starting real fights, and that's exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is.
absolute pleasure to have opened the show. All the best to the NHS, Age UK and Front Room Live. Thank you so much. Well, thanks very much indeed to the sax man, Ben Barnett. Now, I'm joined by Master of Mystery, magician Matthew Lamotte. Hi, Matthew. Hello, Mark. Thank you for having me. Now, you've achieved something nobody else has. You won the Magic Circle's Close-Up Magician of the Year in three consecutive years. A great achievement. Thank you. Yes, I don't tend to talk about it much myself, so I let, let the people like yourself uh, talk it up. But uh, yes, something I'm incredibly proud of. When did you first start getting into magic? Um, it must be when I was about six years old. I saw a magician on television, most likely Paul Daniels. And ever since then, it's uh, all I've ever wanted to do. And I've now turned it into a profession. So I can't be happier. Living the dream. And what magic are you going to perform for us tonight on Front Room Friday Live? Well, Mark, it's a mixed bag. It's some old stuff, some new stuff, and something that even the viewers might be able to try out at home. So I look forward to sharing it. Master of Mystery, Magician Matthew Lamotte. Welcome to the Room of Mystery. Now, one of the questions I'm frequently asked as a magician is what trick have you performed the most? Well, that has to be a trick using these three pieces of rope, different lengths. Once upon a time, I was a street performer and this was my opening piece of magic. It uses one long piece, uh, one medium piece and one small piece of rope. The idea is my job is to make them look the same. It's kind of like an optical illusion. If we snap twice, it looks like they become the same. The small one looks very similar to the medium one. It looks very similar to the long. Now I know you've had a drink, so I'll slow down. It'll make it easier to follow. We use just one piece with two ends, one middle. If we take the ends, they can pop right off. Give us a piece of rope with no ends, an endless piece of rope. If we take the ends, they rest right on the middle and very slowly melt right back on the one. Leaving us with a piece of rope with two ends, one middle. If we leave the ends at the bottom, middle on top, get the middle here, ends here, ends here. I hope you're still following this because I'm not. Um, ends, middle. Okay, we go back to one. We take the one, break it back into two. That's one, two, and three. And we go back to the start, the very beginning, where we had one small one, one long one, one medium one. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, another question I'm frequently asked is, are you a member of the Magic Circle? Well, I am. And to become a member, you have to pass an exam. And this piece of magic I performed on my examination night. It uses these four metal hoops. Now this is a classic of magic and you may have seen it on the, the big stage with the fire, the showgirls, the lions, the tigers, that sort of stuff. That's, uh, that's David Copperfield's budget with the big hoops. This is mine. Four hoops. The idea is they melt through each other. Just here. Did you catch that? I'm not sure you did. We'll try again. Here we go. Right the way through. Solid through solid. That's ring number one and two. Ring number three and four. Just here. This time two and two. Ring number three. Right the way through. And ring number four. 
with just one hand. <laughs> That's just six years of my life, so thank you for the applause. And the hard part is to take them apart, so I do this as slowly as I can. Ring number one. Ring number two at the bottom, nice and slow. And ring number three and four. Just like that. Thank you very much. Now, as we're in isolation, I know there are a number of you who have been learning new skills while you've been here. So I thought, why not teach you a little bit of magic that you can do at home? So all you need is a tissue, a napkin, uh, or if you have a um, turquoise, big magician silk, that would be perfect. So take your uh, material, and you're gonna stuff it inside your fist like this. And if you have children watching, make sure they're getting some magic words ready. They will be needed to accomplish this. There's quite a lot to fit in here. You can just about grip onto that. Oh, there we go. Say those magic words in three, two, one. And it turns into an egg. The hanky goes inside the pocket. A miracle, I know. And I know you're gagging to know how this works. And I'm going to show you. Don't tell the magic circle. What you need is a special egg with a hole in it. All I've done is I've blown the yolk out. I made a little hole in one end, a little hole in the other. I got some sandpaper and sanded away at an edge and made a bit of an opening, cleaned it out, and then you get your fake egg. So what you do to get ready, you need two identical handkerchiefs. Make sure they're the same color. One goes in your top pocket up here, if you have a top pocket. The other one gets bundled up, and that goes in your side pocket over here, and the egg goes along with that inside here. So now, you're ready to go. When you want to perform, what you need to do before you perform is get that egg hidden inside this hand. So reach inside your pocket, grab the egg. Make sure no one sees it's here. This is called palming. Palming. It's a very official word, isn't it? <coughs> Next, when you're about to start, you say, I'd like to show you a trick, a piece of magic. And you uh, flamboyantly remove your handkerchief. And so I'm going to stuff this handkerchief inside my hand. Watch very closely and get your magic words at the ready. Now, as you're pushing this inside your fist, make sure there's no one behind you. If there are people behind you, then they'll see how it's done. Kind of gives it away, guys. So make sure no one's behind you and no one can see. That's really important. Once it's all in there and you're happy to go, you say to your audience, say the magic words. They say the magic words and it turns into the egg and the handkerchief is back inside the pocket. And there you have it, your very own piece of magic that you can perform at home in isolation. Now I know what you're thinking, what if there is someone sneaky behind me and they see how I did it? Well, they see the hole, but whenever that's happened, I've just done this. I managed to take the hole right off the egg and once you've done that you take that egg you crack that egg and get your round of applause <laughs> how about that cool huh so i hope you managed to uh, make your own fake eggs at home and get practicing your very own little magic shows i have one last thing to share with you before I have to go. And uh, this is one particular piece of magic which I, uh, I wrote the script for when I was on a ship bobbing up and down in the Baltic Sea of all places. Oops. And I had a, a piece of music rolling around in my head for about a month and I found the perfect piece of uh, magic to accompany my script that I wrote during that period. Let me just pop some music on. One moment. There we go. The butterfly effect. The simple idea that the single flap of a butterfly's wing, high above 
the Amazon rainforest can cause a hurricane over Kansas City three years later. No flat, no hurricane. A fragile string of seemingly unconnected events which can unravel before us, often without explanation. We are all born with a final destination waiting for us at the end. But I find the journey fascinating because it's this journey which defines us as unique among a crowd. It's our choices, our experiences and our decisions all made without the knowledge of where they might take us. And that's exciting. But it can also be quite scary. We can sometimes be left asking ourselves questions. Three simple questions which can eat away and erode our clarity. Should I? Would I? Could I? It no longer matters. What's done is done. Life goes on. We live and learn. I still think it's amazing how we hold the future of everyone else around us in our hands. A fragile string of decisions which can cause an outcome too vast for us to even comprehend. But I believe it exists. You see, you can never break the thread of the butterfly effect, but you can change its path. Just try to make sure it's a path worth looking back on. I've been Matthew Lamotte. I hope you have a fantastic night. Thank you. The great Matthew Lamotte there. How does he do that? Now, before we introduce our third incredible act of the evening, it's time to recharge your glasses and top up those nibbles with our perfectly timed interlude for the comfort of our viewers. And why not add your front room Friday light images in the Facebook comments, plus tell us where you're from and who you're watching with. We'll be back in a few minutes. Keep an eye on the timer. to record a quick video tonight um, for a special person who we've all heard about in the news, um, Captain Tom Moore, who obviously has raised so much money now for, for the guys at the NHS and um, who are basically fighting this war for us. Um, so in my isolation I wanted to give something back and I want to um, use the power of the internet to try and get this to Captain Tom as a present, as a birthday present from me uh, to you sir. So. Happy birthday and congratulations on everything you've done. And it's called the war song. Through life, through all 
forgiven to me. That's why I think it's right. We appreciate for like the walking man, fought in the war for liberty and for freedom. And now he's at it again. 1990 and he's fighting on a new front line. He's the walking man, calling for his country and his land. Hundred years of his time, still fighting on the front line. And we want to thank you. So what's he doing it for? Ten laps a day to give us a way to raise. Money for what we need. To fight COVID-19 and win the day. Oh, he's the walking man. Calling for his country and his land. Hundreds. Marching on the front line, and we want to thank you. We want to thank you. Keep on walking on. Never, never, never be alone. Thank you, Captain. Welcome back to Front Room Friday Live. Now, I'm really pleased to welcome our next act, super talented singer-songwriter, Alex Francis. How you doing, Mark? How's it going? I'm really good, thank you. And thanks very much indeed for your time on Front Room Friday Live. It's a pleasure. Great to have you on tonight's show. And congratulations on your latest EP, Live in Munich, which has just been released. 
Thank you very much. Yeah, it just came out. Just uh, was it the end of last week? It just came out. Yeah, so I'm pleased to have that out. And it's uh, for me, it's a great um, reminder of a great tour, but it's also a wonderful. Um, yeah, I haven't put an EP together that's live before, so it's a wonderful kind of thing to give to fans and new listeners. It's a sense of what I do on stage as opposed to on record. So I'm thrilled to have it out. And you regularly play all over Europe as a headline and a support act. I've been very fortunate to have several opportunities to get over into Europe. Yeah, I've taken my own music there with my own shows and I've opened for some some great artists. And I just hope that I can continue to do that in these crazy times we're in. So what are you going to sing for us tonight on Front Room Friday Live? I'm going to sing a couple of songs for you. I'm going to sing a new song of mine called I Can't Wait. And I'm going to play a single of mine called Desire. Talented singer-songwriter Alex Francis. a song called uh, I Can't Wait. That was a new one, uh, as yet unreleased. Um, and yeah, I'm coming up with a lot of new stuff at the moment. So uh, I really hope once this all blows over, I hope to get it out and get it moving as fully as I can. Um, yeah, there's plenty of music to come. I'm going to try an old one now. It's not bad on the ears, as far as my cap ears are concerned. A song called Desire.
I was young, you were fun, we had childish dreams. Didn't love, didn't care, didn't know what it means. It was fun, didn't last, is it really a sin? This feeling that has grown on me, I want to show you that I understand. And I wasn't ready to be your man. Ever since I met you, baby, we could really start a fire. What can I do about it when you always knew about it? All I want to do is to get up next to this desire, desire. Tonight is the night we can slide away. I could manage to find the words I wanna say. I've been thinking, I've been running circles round all day. I've been going over every place. I want to know you in a different way. So I'm gonna call you, gonna tell you today. Oh. Ever since I met you, baby, we could really start a fire. What can I do about it when you always knew about it? All I want to do is to get up next to this desire, desire. Since I met you, baby, we could really start a fire, yeah. What can I do about it? Oh, when you always knew about it. All I want to do is to get up next to this desire, desire. All I want to do is to get up next to this desire. Desire. All I wanna do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. That's a song called Desire. That one is out to stream to purchase. You can get it on all my uh, all my channels. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for having me, and um, everybody that's out there watching, please uh, give and donate what you can to the World Health Organization, to the NHS, to all the wonderful initiatives and organisations that are helping us out right now. And uh, just spread awareness. Just do what you can, um, and be safe and stay safe. And yeah, look after yourselves. Thank you very much. Well, a great set there from Alex Francis. Now, she describes herself as an Essex girl with big blonde hair and a big voice to match. Good evening, Georgia from Georgia and the Vintage Youth. 
Hello, how are you doing? I'm really good, thank you. Now, I can probably best describe your music, Georgia, as retro pop. Where do you take your inspiration from? Um, from a load of soul that I grew up listening to. Motown, Elvis Presley, um, all that sort of stuff. But I put a bit of a modern twist on things. Yeah. And, and all being well, people can see you on tour, hopefully later in the year? Yeah, let's hope so. Let's hope so. I think I've got a tour in Germany planned in February, so hopefully things are okay by then. And what are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm going to be singing my new single, um, my upcoming single, and a cheeky little cover for you. And the one and only Georgia from Georgia and the Vintage Youth. Charlie Manning and uh, he's gonna be singing this next song with me. This is a cover by a band called The Last Shadow Puppets. This song is called The Meeting Point. Ready? Hold on, I'm gonna take a little sip. Sure. I'll start.
I'm hoping people are clapping at home, but if not, I shall do it. Okay, we're going to do one more song, and this is my next single, which is coming out near the end of this month. And um, yeah, it's called Thick as Thieves. I hope you can like you give it. me a count then? Yeah, cool. I can. Yeah, you know, yeah, remember. No, I remember how I remember how to count. Yeah. I think, yeah. Ready? What comes after three? Okay. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. Where's the friend I once adored? He disappeared the second you go aboard. I've seen that before. Now we can't bring ourselves to speak. Instead, you then online and try to make me feel weak. But my eyes are wider, my skin is thicker, my thoughts are wiser, my reflexes quicker. I don't care if you ain't coming back, but please don't take away my mind. Displayed all your colors and now your owner come down. Now I compare that gin soap stare that reappear these nights. Then you throw a bit if you're losing it, roll it up and smoke your life. But my eyes are wider, my skin is thicker.
Well, a big thanks to Georgia from Georgia and the Vintage Youth. Now, I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by internet singing cessation, professional opera singer, and now frontline NHS doctor, Alex Aldrin. Hi, Alex. Hi, Mark. Thanks for having me. Not at all. Thanks very much indeed for being with us on Front Room Friday Live. Now, I was absolutely blown away watching you on social media. There you were, you were in full scrubs with a rousing rendition of Puccini's aria Ness and Dora. How did that all come about? Well, I mean, basically I trained as a doctor first. I went to the University of Birmingham and I kind of discovered opera about halfway through and I realised immediately that it's what I really, really wanted to do. But um, on the advice of lots of sensible people, including lots of opera singers, they said, you know, take your time, finish your degree, because you can't really start an opera career until you're about 30 anyway, oftentimes. So um, I finished my degree. I worked at the Royal London Hospital for two years, and then I just decided enough was enough. I had to follow my dream, and uh, I went for it. Went to the Royal Academy of Music and studied there for three years, and then I've been working as an opera singer since, uh, and that's since March in 2019. And then obviously COVID's happened um, in the last few weeks. So all of my opera work was cancelled. Um, the whole performing arts world is just completely ground to a halt along with a lot of industries. And at the same time, we had this incredible crisis and this need for doctors. So um, it seemed like the obvious thing to go back, go back to medicine. Now you started singing. What was the reaction of your co-workers when you began? Well, I mean, they, they did ask. I, should, I, didn't, I, didn't just, um, <laughs> I didn't just force my singing on them. Because um, it's quite normal, you know, if you meet someone new on a shift to say, oh, where do you work normally? What's your background? And I said, I'm an opera singer. So when we had a little bit of a break, um, a little bit of a lull, somebody said, go on, then give us a tune. And uh, I did. And they seemed to enjoy it. So can I ask you, what are conditions like at the moment? How are you coping? You know, it's, it's a fascinating time to be in medicine, actually. I mean, um, it's such a kind of unusual time for everybody of course but um we've never faced anything like this before you know it's it's a completely alien experience to all doctors at all levels um and we're just kind of managing as as best we can really you know things are changing all the time and we never know how many patients are going to turn up we never know we don't know what the peak of this is going to be so there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of sort of thinking on your feet and it's really inspiring actually to kind of see what can be achieved um, in crisis times like these. The sort of organisation at the national level is amazing. These hospitals that we've built in a matter of weeks. Um, so, yeah, it's, 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 it's you know, obviously, as, as well as this is a terrible time, it's, it's an amazing time to be part of the, um, the frontline effort. And are you and your colleagues feeling the love and respect from the British public that you richly deserve? I've got to say it's amazing. I mean, um, I mean, obviously, in my... My other job, I'm used to getting applauded all the time, but uh, no one's ever applauded me for being a doctor before. And, uh, you know, everybody in the NHS appreciates it so much. It's such an amazing feeling to just be kind of lifted by this feeling of support from the whole country. So thank you to everybody out there. It's just keep doing what you're doing. It's fantastic. Well, everyone watching Front Room Friday Live is enormously impressed by the great, great work that you and your colleagues are doing on our behalf. Tell me, Alex, what are you going to be singing for us tonight? So I've got a few treats lined up for you. Um, I'm going to start with a Neapolitan song called Core Ingrato, which is basically about a guy who's been dumped by his girlfriend. And then he's kind of outside her window just going, how could you do this to me? Uh, for a few minutes. So that's nice and dramatic and very Italian. Um, and then I'm going to sing a, an amazing song from uh, West Side Story, uh, Maria, which is uh, one of my favourite things to sing. It's just an absolutely gorgeous song. Uh, and then I'm going to finish with Ness and Dorma, the sort of the classic that's getting a lot of airtime at the moment. It's an amazing song about triumphing. And I think that's why it's inspired a lot of people at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Aldrin. Doctor Opera, Alex Aldrin. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for supporting Aid Concern UK and NHS Charities, both really important organisations at this time.
Thanks for joining me here in my dad fun room. I'm also being watched by a few generations of my family. I'm going to sing three songs for you and I uh, hope you enjoy. The first one is Cordon Grado.
third and final song is going to be Nessun Dorma. The song's been getting a lot of play in the recent weeks because it's all about hope and triumph. And at the end, you'll be victorious. So it's quite a good song. Hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed. Good evening. Wow, what a finale to our first Front Room Friday Live. Dr. Opera, Alex Aldrin, absolutely amazing. Well, Alex brings us to the end of our first show. Big thanks to all our acts tonight. Please remember, we're raising money for two great causes, NHS Charities Together and Aid UK. If you've enjoyed the show and you'd like to support these really worthy causes, please go to our virtual tip jar buttons on frontroomfridaylive.com as all your donations, big or small, will make a massive difference. Also, don't forget to follow us on all our social media channels. We'd love to see how you celebrated the premiere of Front Room Friday Live in your own front rooms, the delicious food you ate, and of course, how you got involved. Tag us in your Instagram stories and Facebook posts 
at Front Room Friday Live and hashtag FRFL. We'd also really welcome all your feedback and suggestions, plus any requests or recommendations of artists you'd like to see on future shows. Join us again on Friday the 1st of May at 7 o'clock when we'll be bringing you more top acts on Front Room Friday Live. Stay safe, protect the NHS, and we'll see you very soon.